Finally tonight, President Obama had an unforgettable handshake this past week in Pittsburgh when he met with a pioneer on the frontiers of medicine and technology. Dr. John LaPook has the story. I like that. When President Obama shook this robotic hand, 30-year-old Nathan Copeland could feel the firm grip as if it were his own hand. No sensation from, like, my nipples down. Copeland is paralyzed from the chest down after a car accident in 2004 injured his spinal cord. Lots of things are hard. Picking cups up, regaining the ability to do things can really change someone's life. Things changed at the University of Pittsburgh. Last year, four tiny arrays of electrodes were implanted in Copeland's brain, two in the motor cortex and two where feeling in the hand is processed. This is the first time that these sorts of devices have actually been implanted in the brain to try and generate these sensations. Biomedical engineer Robert Gaunt is part of the research team. When we deliver these little tiny pulses of electricity, we can actually stimulate these neurons. And from the perspective of these neurons, they don't really care whether they're being active because your hand is actually being touched or if we make them become active using these little devices. Okay, here we go again. In this experiment, reported in the journal Science Translational Medicine this week, Gaunt presses on a finger, sending signals to specific electrodes in the brain. As neurons fire, Copeland feels pressure and can even distinguish between individual fingers. Index. Copeland says he can feel four or five distinct sensations. Pressure, one that's kind of tingly. The first couple times, you know, it's really cool. He has also been working with researchers to hone his ability to move the robotic arm just by thinking. He says that's kind of cool, too. Did everybody fully grasp what's going on here? President Obama was clearly impressed. And in exchanging a fist bump, both men could feel a sense of history. Sensation is such an important part of figuring out what it is we're touching and how to touch it. Is it soft? Is it hard? Is it hot? Is it cold? And the next step is to miniaturize all of this for eventual use outside the lab.